Hi Capricorn, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Capricorn, this is what are their true intentions in love. And it's going to be a love reading between you and your person, whoever they are, alright? Don't really have to be with them, it's just about a connection, right? Maybe you are with them, it just depends. So let's see what we have for Capricorn and their person. And we're trying to find out how they feel, uh, what could potentially happen, things like that, alright? And we're going to have the tell-all in the... Over in the extended reading, right, where the little old lady sits there and she reports to you uh, almost like, you know, almost like a genie, okay? Like your own personal genie. Genie, tell me, what should I do? <laughs> so let's get into the reading, you guys, and I always have, try to have a little bit of fun here, right? Gotta do that, right? Yeah. Let's see what the Enchanted Map Oracle has to say. Ghostlands, Capricorn. I feel like Ghostlands has to do with... Uh, Things that are no more, right? Things that are uh, things that are over. But let's have a look here because uh, this lady, she kind of has a different perspective on some things that appear to be kind of uh, cut and dry. It says, it says, you can learn from the past and imagine a beautiful future, but you must live in the here and now. Okay. So this means that something is something was over, right? But you can learn from the past. Yeah. Okay, Ghostland. So let's see what else we have for you, Capricorn, you and your person. Let's get a card from John Holland's deck. Let's see what John has to say. Yeah, good old John, all right? Yeah, uh, good old John Holland just came over from uh, from the Netherlands, right? Uh, he lives on a farm, and they have windmills in, uh, in the Netherlands. <laughs> just teasing you guys. I don't, you know, he's uh, like his deck, though. It's the psychic tarot, right? Yeah, he's... Uh, but he could very well be Dutch. Maybe his grandparents uh, had the, uh, I don't know, right? Because the last name Holland is uh, originally Dutch, okay? But, you know, with all the, uh, I would say, like, migration and in history, people have moved around quite a bit, right? So, yeah. And people change their names, right? Yeah, they come here to the United States, and they could have a really long a uh, really long name, and they cut it down to five letters, right? Now you have a different name. So let's see what we got for Capricorn and their person, and we have the Conflict and Defeat card. Okay, five. This is really the five of swords, right? So Capricorn is either you or your person um, who is kind of, you know, uh, feeling conflicted or defeated and, you know, kind of dealing with a tough situation here. And let's see, though, let's see what else we can kind of uh, glean here. Let's get a card from the Animal Wisdom Oracle. Let's see, Animal Spirit Oracle is really the name. Let's see what we have. Yeah, let's see what we have for Capricorn and their person, please. For Capricorn and their person. These cards are typically uplifting, so let's see what we have. We need an uplifting card here. <laughs> And we have the owl spirit. You can see clearly now. Okay, so I mean that is uh, a bit positive, right? So you understand what's going, what's going on, what's going down uh, now, but you could be feeling defeated about it. So let's see here. Let's get a charm for you, Capricorn. In the extended, we're gonna get a charm. Let's see what we have for your person. All right. Let's see what we have for Capricorn. For Capricorn. And this is. Uh, this is the dove, and the dove is bringing the, uh, what is it, some type of, uh, I'm not really sure what this is, but I feel like this could be in the Bible, where I'm not sure, it doesn't have to be, you guys, um, but it is all about new beginnings, uh, the dove, yeah, it is all about some type of new beginning, it could be solo, it could be, you know, maybe with this person. Well, let's see what we have, and that is a good luck, right? Yeah, I feel like it is totally good luck here. And let's see. I feel like the dove, uh, the dove talks about love and inspiration. Yeah, it does. So let's see what we have. Four Capricorn. These have been shuffled. Let's go ahead and just for Capricorn. Your energy is a death card. Yeah, I mean that would match up, right, to this conflict and defeat in this Ghostlands card. And your person is, okay, wow. Okay. So Capricorn, you look like, uh, you know, right here, you're, you know, you're kind of 
experiencing an ending over here with the death card and uh, as usual you have the empress card wow and your person over here in the root for them is uh, leaving the eight of cups but let's see here they look like they want to be single though so maybe over here in their desire position is the nine of pentacles maybe that is to be with you all right so let's see here uh, I'm just going to get one more shuffle here for Capricorn. Let's see why you're in the death energy, Capricorn. And this could be a Scorpio. We see uh, Gemini showing up in this reading. And the King of Cups is Pisces, Cancer. Mm -hmm. And then the Empress is here. This is Libra or, or Taurus. But this Empress, I believe, is you. Like you're embodying the Empress. You are the passionate... Uh, the passionate woman who could be, you know, creating abundance for yourself. This can just talk, sometimes the Empress talks about a lover, a passionate lover, right? That somebody really wants. It's the number three in the major arcana. And it can talk about somebody's mom, right? Uh, because, like, a mother, because the Empress is, uh, she represents fertility, which we know is, you know, is motherhood, right? Is one form of Fertility, right? The the most beautiful form of fertility. And over here, you guys, uh, in your energy, Capricorn, you're trying to fight your fears about an ending. You're trying to conquer your fears. To me, it looks like something's over. Maybe, you know, let's see. But uh, what I'm saying is that maybe that ending, uh, maybe there's a little bit more to this. So let's see here. Let's get a card on the Empress. And this is your crossing energy. Why does Capricorn have the Empress? Excuse me. Somebody's cutting a tree around here. I mean, there's plenty of trees here. Uh, redwoods and everything like that. Uh, luckily, we are not really close to the forest, thank God, because uh, they have burnt down. Uh, there's been so many fires this year, and they don't do burn tests, so they're not trying to stop them. No, they're not. But long story short, uh, somebody's cutting a tree around here, <laughs> and it's really bad. They go, and then it stops, and they're cutting a huge tree, you can tell. Okay, so the Empress and the Star card, and this is you. I feel like you want to heal something with somebody, and you want it to be over. You want their union to be over. Yeah, you want to heal a situation with somebody? I feel like you do. Maybe you wanted to heal a situation and uh, because there is rejection here, Four of Cups. There is an energy here where somebody, you're, you're emptying the cup right here, Capricorn. You could actually want something to end here. You could. Like, you could be like fighting your fears uh, like kind of like hoping and wanting somebody to end a situation. So let's let's find out here. Let's look at the King of Cups. The reading is young. Right? Like they say, the night is young. Anything can happen tonight. <laughs> King of Cups showing up in the root for you, Capricorn. The Nine of Wands. Here you are, the Wounded Warrior. Alright? So I feel like you're worried about what's going to happen next, what's going to materialize, how things are going to go. You've already been through uh, a, a lot with the number nine, right? The nine of wands. You've already gone through possibly nine, you know, uh, you've come a long way in your journey with this person. And now you're concerned about what's going to happen next. I don't really feel like you're worried about your own ending. You could be like worried about your own ending with this person. I feel like you are more concerned about, that's part of it, but I feel like you really want them to end it with someone else. And it's, it's defeated you in the past. And the Ghostlands card is showing up. This could be a, this could be a relationship with history. Where it ended... And in the past, this is a brand new chapter now. And you can see clearly now. Now you can see, like, what's going on. You're not sure what's going to happen, but you understand the situation far better than you did.
And this Ghost Lands card, it, you know, advises to uh, kind of forget about the past. Maybe not the good memories that you have with this person, but kind of live in the here and now. Because now you can see. But you're defeated. So let's see what we have here. And... Uh, You could be conflicted rather than, I feel like in the past you were uh, very defeated, most likely, about this person with the Ghostlands card. So let's see, let's get one more card on the root. Why is that there? And here in the root is the King of Cups pouring out a cup. Over here is the Four of Cups. There's a lot, right? There's a lot of rejection here. Maybe your person, your person might be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Or they could be dealing with one. Because with the Empress and the Star card, Capricorn, you want only good things with this person. Right? You want success. You're inspired. You, this is like a card of hope. I feel like you are hoping that they're going to end this per end it with somebody else. Someone else. This is not you about you and them so much. The Death card and the Nine of Swords. It is more about you kind of hoping that they're going to leave this person out. Yeah. The Star card, Four of Cups. All right. So let's get another card. Why is that Nine of Wands there for Capricorn? Three of Wands. Yeah, you want them to leave this. You want them to leave somebody here. You want this. The Dove showing up. You want the, the new beginnings. The inspiration. Wow. Two of Wands reversed. Two of Wands reversed. This person inspires you. Yeah. This is what you want. You want them to make up their mind. You want them to choose you and walk away from that other person. Seven of Pentacles here. And their energy is the Ace of Pentacles and the Hangman. And they could be a Piscean or dealing with one because the King of Cups is here. Why is the Hangman there? Queen of Pentacles, that's you, Capricorn. Yeah, that is definitely you. Three of Swords in the reverse. This could be saying your person feels really stuck about healing a situation with you. Your person is making up their mind right now. Two of Pentacles. With the Lover's card. That's what they're doing. They're deciding. It has to be. It's between you and your person. We already have you and this other person. We have the Two of Wands here. The Two of Pentacles here. And the Lovers. These are all choices. To move forward. To choose someone to do that with. They could feel really stuck here. Or they are dealing with. A Piscean. Because here you are next to the hangman. Who could be Pisces. And here and the King of Cups is here. And your person is deciding between you and someone else. And the Eight of Cups is... The Eight of Cups Capricorn is showing up in the root for your person. This is why it's all happening. And this is walking away. And walking away from a situation that is... Uh, like it's emotionally boring, like you know, <laughs> boring. That's not a good. It's not nice, right? But you know, somebody might not be fulfilled. I feel like this is your person. This is them devising a plan here. The Seven of Swords, Eight of Cups, walking away from their person in in kind of a sneaky way, right? It could, maybe they're going to tell their person at the almost at the last minute. Right? Because some people don't want to live through the, the hell, right? They're there with their person in the same house and they're leaving them. Who wants to... Yeah, that's really bad. That is a bad situation. All right? Yeah, it is. That's like living with the enemy. Maybe they're going to tell them at the last minute. This is how this uh, looks here. But however, your person is being quiet about it. I feel like they are. Of course, right? Yeah, with their person. And in their desires, the Nine of Pentacles. Why do they desire that? 
the five of swords yeah this is yeah this is like they want to be on their own at all costs five of swords and the judgment card this is in their desire this is a a rebirth with you this is returning to you why is the judgment card there and leaving the other person six of swords all right we're going to go to vimeo capricorn with a tell all lives remember that uh, nosy little nosy little lady right she nosy old lady she lives next door right she means well but she's so she's bored with her life so she's super nosy <laughs> And, uh, right, isn't that those people who are nosy, they're bored with their own life, right? Yeah, I remember when I used to live uh, in San Jose, uh, there was a lady across the street. Uh, she was married, though, with two kids. She didn't work. She was the nosiest lady. She wasn't that nice, though, okay, guys? No, she wasn't very nice, no. <laughs> and all the extensions are super affordable. We're going to call your person out, Sagittarius. We're going to talk about how they really feel. And the common block between you guys, right? Yeah, we need to see the block or the challenge, yeah, between you guys. And what they hide, what they fear, the future, and their true intentions. All on Vimeo. And uh, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. If you guys need your own reading, you can always get one. It's always the best way, hands down, 800%, right, guys? There is no uh, back and forth. Sometimes these readings are vice versa readings because they're general. This reading is not. This reading is clear. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, wishing you a ton of power and light.